The chimneys were at risk of crashing through our lovely new roof. We can't have that. I'm Adam Roxby and this is the old workhouse. As mentioned in the roof episode, we had some serious concerns about the chimneys and as the scaffolding was up, we thought we'd go up to the roof and have a look and just see how bad they were. The two chimneys that were the main causes of concern were chimneys two and three. We had three main options open to us. Firstly, we could just leave them here. I mean, they've been standing this long. Hopefully they won't go anywhere. Two, we could try and repair the mortar or repoint it, filling in the gaps in between the bricks, which is crumbling away with something new and strong. Or thirdly, we could just bite the bullet and take them down and completely rebuild them. The first two options sounded a bit risky, especially given the condition that these chimneys were in, and also considering that we had a lovely new roof being built all around them. So we decided to go for option three. Demolishing a chimney is really quite simple. All you've got to do is take the bricks off in an orderly manner to be cleaned and put back if they're good enough. Once we got going, it was really obvious that we'd made the right choice. The mortar, which is the stuff that holds the bricks in place, was really terrible. In some places, it was just crumbling away in our hands. Taking down a chimney is only half the story, obviously. We then had to rebuild it strong and straight. I had toyed with the idea of doing it myself. After all, I'm now an adept roofer, but that idea made the overseers a little bit nervous. So, we got a professional in. As I've said before, there's often a lot to consider when renovating a listed building. For example, we were advised as to the type of cement we would need to give these chimneys an authentic and appropriate appearance. In fact, cement wouldn't have been used at the time that the old workhouse was built, we were to use a mixture of lime, sand and water. After many weeks of work, we now have two lovely rebuilt chimneys which will stand tall and proud for many years to come and will maintain the old workhouse's distinctive appearance. Thanks for watching this episode of The Old Workhouse. I'm sorry it's taken a little bit longer to get this episode ready, but we've been really busy here preparing for the summer months where we can really make some good progress. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode and also check out our website for links on how to contact us or support us if you want. But that's it for now. We'll see you on the next episode. Well catch! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like...